Hello everyone! Today we are going to look at if then else statements using command button captions. So in the last tutorial um, I showed you how to change the caption of a command button, so this bit here, um, within VBA and so now we're going to use VBA to check what the caption is and do something different depending on what the caption is. So an if statement is used to check whether a condition is true or false and how we're going to use it over here in this scenario is we're going to um, type it here into the um, command update customer sub and then we just want to say if um, and then I'll just nick that because it's easier than retyping it. So if that equals update, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, update. So if this equals update, then, and I'm just going to leave all this code in here for now, and then just put end if here. And so what this is basically saying is, if the caption of the command button is update, then do this. And I'll just show you this working now. If I run the form, the button says update. So if we click it, that's going to run. And if I click it again, because the button no longer says update, it's not doing anything. Which, actually, you couldn't really tell that it's not doing anything because... Uh, change that there to 83, just so that you can see here, there it's definitely not updating that to 83 okay so let's change that back there and then what we're going to do now is we're going to add an else if so this is oh it helps if i type it right isn't it so this is just like adding in a second um if statement so if it doesn't meet the first if it's going to check if it meets the second if. Um, and then I think we'll call this reset here because um, I noticed in the last one that I need to uh, show you how to reset them otherwise the form will stay filled in. Um, so all I've done here is um, when we have updated the fields instead of telling the button to be called updated um, we're going to give it the option to reset okay and then under the else if option here um, we're saying if it equals reset and then if I copy these values here and line it up if we blank these out and we're just going to tell it here if the button says reset then reset the field to be blank okay so if we run this now let's take a look and we can see here now that when I press the um, button it reset it if I start again just to show you again so the fields are blank I press update and it runs the first if to populate the fields and to change the button to reset here and then because it now says reset when we click the button again it will fall into the else if and then it will blank the fields out there and really I should set the button there back to update so that we can keep running it that would be helpful wouldn't it <laughs> update reset update reset yay that's exciting right <laughs> Um, what we can also add in here um, is an else statement. So, um, I'm trying to think now, I don't think we can actually make it fall into an else, but what that would do if I was to write something in there um, is if it didn't meet any of the if criteria here, then it would run to the else. Okay. Um, actually, I can show you there. If I tell it to do uh, updated, if I change it to there, um, what should we write? Customer name. Oh no. Let's see. So what this is going to do here is 
If the caption is update, then do this. If the caption is reset, then do this. And then that's going to update the caption there to updated, which is not update or reset. So then it should set the customer name there to oh no. <laughs> Yay. So that works perfectly, which is good. Um, so I'm just going to remove this from here for now because... Update. Yeah, so I'm just going to remove that from there for now um, and we'll just leave it as this so that we can in the next tutorial create a reset um, sub to reset the buttons using a loop. Um, so if you found this tutorial useful please like and subscribe to our channel, feel free to add any comments um, and I hope it was useful for you. Thanks for watching.